Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. I am Love of Fragrances. And on this particular channel, I highly recommend fragrances to you. And the reason I do that is because I have a, such an admiration and love for fragrances to the point where I just want to reveal it and share it with you. So I pray you continue to tune in and also subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please continue to comment. I have some merchandise here for you that I would like to just present to you and I like to switch it up every now and then. I'm predominantly interested in the fragrances and sometimes, you know, I bring you things, but I bring you a variation of things. I bring you things that are not specifically body fragrances all the time because I have a love for a variation of fragrances, but this is a little bit unique and a little bit different today from any fragrances that I have ever anything I've ever brought to you before literally but anyways before I get into it I just want you to know that this is in reference to a shopping haul prior to COVID-19 and some of it was attained during COVID-19 but either way it's a haul a mini haul but it doesn't predominantly totally revolve around fragrances and I just want you to know that I remember Hello there, UTs. <laughs> I want you to know I'm thinking about you all the time, and I pray you're thinking about me. And if you are, subscribe. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. I went to Bare Minerals when they were open before COVID 19, like I said, and I picked up some merchandise. But you're going to be disappointed if you think it's fragrances because. It's not really associated with fragrances, but I have numerous, I, numerous of items in here, and I'm going to give you a little explanation of what this happens to be. I have here my number one merchandise that I want you to see that you might find interested, interesting. Okay, I have here this here merchandise that I have here that's by Avini. I showed you the larger container of this in my last video when I was showing you my um, COVID-19 stock, stock, stocking. Stocking up on merchandise haul, okay? I so showed you the spray bottle of this, but this one here happens to be a, a lot smaller content of that particular merchandise. It's a fragrance mist, and it's a hydrating mist, which I am really big into right now. And it's by Afini, and it's very, oh yes, and it's pretty fragrant. As you apply it to your skin, you will notice that it's moisturizing, but it's a hydrating Trilloric acid type of moisturization. And it's like a dry moisturizer where it goes on and glisters on your skin. But however, it doesn't leave you shiny, but it does the job. It gets you moisturized and hydrated. And it's by Athene. And it's, it's, it's a serum. It's the Moisturization Hydrolurid Serum. Another item I picked up here from Bare Minerals. And I highly recommend, to, re recommend it to you. And it's called... Avocivic, Avocivic, and I have another item here that I picked up from Bare Minerals, and it's called Sparlight, and it's also a hydrolyric serum, a pearl serum, and it's a wonderful product. I use this here hydrolyric merchandise fairly frequently on my skin. But if you notice, look how beautiful that happens to be. The container itself, it has, it says Hydrolloid Pearl Serum. Can you see it written on there? Hydrolloid Pearl Serum. Yes, and it's very, very, and it has little pearls inside of it. Those are little pearls, but you know what? When I apply it to my skin, it has a tendency to just, they dissolve. See right here, I'm going to give you an illustration. If you put it on your skin like this right here, and you rub it in, it just dissolves. The little bitty, little bitty pearls on there, just extra moisturization in your skin and more hydro, more a uh, hydroluric moisture on your skin because it's like water. It's like an aquatic water-based serum applied to your skin. And look at that. I'm so more, see the difference? Okay, I put it on both hands, but if you look at this side, I didn't get on that side. This side is very wet, and it feels very wet, and I can feel it penetrating inside of my skin. Anyways, I wanted to just show you that one. 
I love the content, I love the pearls inside of there, and it's very beneficial for keeping your skin hydrated. But honey, there's nothing better than good old H2O, but I utilize this periodically, and I'm big on those, so I'm gonna show you a few of those. And I have another one here. Um, let me just get you into, here's another one. As a matter of fact, I, I'm going to show you two. Here's another one I have. And this one came from another store. I'm not sure exactly which one, but I have, I have two of them. I have two of these right here. One without the cap and one with the cap. And it's a facial primer. Facial prime and setting spray. You know how... Uh, they sell the individual primers like at Ulta and all the makeup kind of stores and everything. And I just really started using those their primers on my skin. And I started using them when you apply makeup predominantly. But this here is a setting primer. And with this one right here, you do not have to moisturize your skin or use a hydrolure resource on it or anything. Because this here happens to be the same thing. Well, it's a primer and it sets your makeup also. So what you do is like put it on prior to, to an application of your foundation. And when you finish doing that, you spray it again and it is a setting mist. And you don't have to use like the white setting powder, which all this stuff was recently introduced to me because I'm kind of simple in that aspect. And it was introduced to me that you can use a setting powder. And this here happens to be a facial primer and a setting mist, if you can see it right there. And it's um, it's hibiscus, cucumber, and fresh rose water. It's a rose water. We all know that roses, honey, are good for everything. And I happen to have two of them. And I'm going to give a demonstration of this right now. I'm going to spray it on my face. <laughs> I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do this one because it doesn't have a cap and it's open. And you tell me. Well, come in and tell me if you think I look different. I may have sprayed too much. Do I look refreshed? What do you think? Too much? <laughs> I am pretty wet. <laughs> oh my God, let's dry this off. I am very wet. But anyways, that's a facial priming setting mist that I just sprayed on my face. I look so I think I did too much. Don't laugh. <laughs> and now I'm going on to um they're they're all the same thing, basically. And I have another one here. And this here hydrates. This is a hydrating oil, and this is what you put on the application process before you apply your makeup. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is gonna dry in a minute on my face. Yeah, it's going to dry on here. And I want to see if I look refreshed and not wet. And this one, this here is a Hydroluric Intense Moisture. These are by off, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm not familiar with the brands. You know, I have sort of like MAC, Revlon. Look at it. It comes out in a brown tight serum. And look how moisturizing it happens to be. Oh my God. This is why I wanted to bring this merchandise to you because I'm a fragrance lover, honey. And believe it or not, a lot of these products here have an exceptional amount of fragrance toward them. And this here is a fragrance. It's like cucumber and watermelon. Cucumber, watermelon, and pumpkin. That's what it smells like. But look at it. See how it hydrates my skin? I know you said I mix them all together, and I am. But it's all the same thing, literally, by different brands, of different company brands. And it's, high, it's all the same thing. Hydroluric Hydrating Face Serum. And that's what I just put on. And I'm not going to rub that on my face because I usually like to apply something like this prior to putting on a little foundation. But I just put on a mist and from what I can see, it isn't finished drying yet, but I'm pretty content with just that one. It's very moisturizing. And we're going to go on to the next one. And the next item I have for you happens to be, this here is by 
none other than it's a moisturizer serum by Coco Chanel. See the little C's on there? It's a moisturization serum and it's by Coco Chanel and it's called Chanel LeBlanc. Right here. And this is very effective as well for your skin. I don't like to waste this. I'm just going to put a dab, just a little dab, because this is my special occasion serum. I'm going to put a little bit on my body here and rub it in. It's a serum, and you just put it on your face prior to putting on your makeup, and all, or maybe even prior to moisturizing if you use anything else, because it has a nice fragrance to it as well. But this is Chanel. LeBlanc Serum Calorie. And it's a, it has also a great deal of French writing on here as well, but it's very beneficial for the skin. And I'm sure you would love this because it's, it's so smooth and soft and moisturizing for your skin. It's very effective. And I'm sure you will love this as well. And also I have, ah, uh, back to the hydration, all of this. I have a hydration product here another one and it's called glow and this one isn't in a container but it's by it's it's by glow I think the name of it's by the company glow otherwise I can't see it but it just say glow you can see it right there on here it says glow and it's a cactus rose water again we know rose water is really good I like the glow that I get from using that serum and setting spray it made me less dry Okay, should I put another setting spray on? <laughs> I want to see if this one makes me glow. I want to be done wash my face and all of this in a minute. But this is glow also, so let's try this one. See what happens. Very hydrating. Hydrating setting spray. So I tried that one, and I tried the first one, and I tried this one, and I think I look a little bit more glossy. Okay, well, I just want to introduce you to this here. This is almost like a, no, it isn't. It's, it's a magnesium, vitamin C and magnesium. Very beneficial for the skin, and the name of it happens to be Glow, and I'm sure you would love this. Okay, on to my other products, honey. We are getting into the face now. We're getting to the, the top layer. We're getting into the top layer of the face. And when I say I'm getting into the top layer of the face, and that's because of the fact that I have a couple of these right here. I have Candid Foundation, Candid Foundation by Revlon, and it's new. And you know what? I'm not really a big foundation person, but this here was a gift to me for the holidays because I used to wear Fashion Fair, and I love Fashion Fair products, and I had a my own particular foundation that blended with my complexion perfectly. And I can't remember specifically the name of it, but they established a new formula for my particular um, shade, the shade of my foundation. And they reformulized it when they reestablished the company or downgraded the company. And after that, I could not attain the appropriate shade for my complexion, so I discontinued foundation overall because I love Fashion Fair. It was to go to found makeup for women like me, women of color. It was to go to foundation for women of color, but after they discon they they didn't discontinue my shade. They reformulated it and it was never the same again. It didn't blend with my complexion. And so after they did that, I just discontinued foundation because I couldn't find anything anywhere I felt that was appropriate for my skin type. And I'm trying this right now. I'm trying it. I'm not going to say it's beneficial for me or it's predominantly a favorite and I really love it. I'm not sure. I'm trying it. So I want you to know, I'm not going to highly recommend these to you. I'm just letting you know, this is my go-to foundation just to have something accessible right now. This is it. And I have a couple other little things that I picked up, maybe something from MAC. And sometimes I mix them. But I really don't have a foundation that I really like. So if you have anything that you could recommend to me and that I may find beneficial or appropriate, please let me know. Let me see right quick. 
I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. And I want to show you this. I also picked up. I've already. I've already opened them. I've already opened them. But I just want to show you. I picked up this here pack of brushes. I can't remember exactly where I obtained these, but I know it wasn't at Bare Minerals. But I picked up these here brushes, makeup brushes, and I picked them up for to apply that foundation on my skin because I needed some. And they came in this little container here and it says Glam Squad. I, as you can see, they have not really been used. <laughs> I have not really used these brushes. They've just been sitting there. After I obtained it, went through and purchased them, I put them there to utilize. And um, because I don't, I'm not a, really into the foundation like I used to be. They're just sitting there, but I thought they were re they're really nice brushes. I have, I think, at least one. How many? How many in here? One. I mean, two, four, six. I think it's ten brushes in this little container here, and this here was a set, and it. It was a package like this, and as you can see, it has a gold ending on it. I think they're very beautiful, very attractive brushes, and I just, I, they're very soft, Ooh, very soft and very delicate on the skin, and I find them very attractive. But you know what I'm going to do right now? I am going to put a little bit of this foundation. I'm going to take, this here, is, this here is an angler brush, and I would use this one for my blush. But I'm not putting any blush on right now. So I am going to take a little bit of this foundation. Wow. Look at that. I spray that glow spray on there. And the setting one. And everything dried together. I don't know if I should put this makeup on. I kind of like the, the glow. I kind of like it. You see? You see my glow? <laughs> I do. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this and I'm going to put it on the tip of the brush. And I'm just going to see if this blends. See, I have a little, like a mole right there. See if I can cover it right there. And let me see if this is my shade also. Right there with this brush. Like I said, I don't usually wear it. What you think? What you think? You think that's my shade? If you think so, oh, this, I didn't tell you what number. Well, the color. It looks like it's 600 or something, but I don't, like I said, I don't usually wear this stuff every day, but sometimes I take this and I'll put a little bit on, mix it with something else, but that's my shade. I mean, that's what I'm, this is what I'm dealing with right now. It's by Revlon, and for some reason they call it Candid, and then it's number 600, and it says it's very new, so I'm just trying it, and that's my first time I use my brush, but... I hope I use the right size. What you think? You think it blend well? I don't know. I'm not that makeup girl. I'm not good. I would do the whole... I don't know. One day I might do it. I might come to you and do a whole face makeup application for you. I might. Because I be trying to put it on, but I don't know. I don't think I'm that great at it. Anyways, let's go. Keep going. Moving right along. I... Okay, I have this here. Oh, yes, I have one more. Not one more product, but one more face thing for the face. Well, two more things for the face. Mm, that glow kind of set me off just right. I like that. I'm going to try some more. I'm going to try it without makeup as well. Um, I have here, this stuff right here is by, I think it's Bare Minerals also. And it's called Fix. And it's also like a setting spray, but it's like a setting powder. After you apply all of your foundations and everything, this was a gift to me. I couldn't figure out what the heck it was for. And you have to have a like foundation to utilize it. And what I did was like, I read up on it. For some reason, a container came up missing. And I think there's another part to it. 
I don't know, but I have to locate it. But this says, as you can see, fix. And what it does is like after you put your foundation on, you spray it on, and it's supposed to be like a setting spray, a setting powder, and it sets your foundation. Let's try it. There I go, wet again. Whoa. It's supposed to fix everything and put everything in perspective. I wish it would fix. I'm not going to go there. Did it fix anything? What do you think? Let me know what you think, okay? In the comment section. Moving right along, I have... Oh, I have this right here. Oh, you know, I told you before that I love Milani lip colors. I have it on right now. Can you see it? It has gloss in it. You see it? Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> this here is by Milani and it's I like it has gold glitter on it. This here is my go-to lip gloss for the holidays, and that's the only time I wear it. I'll wear it entire the entire month of December. If I'm going out somewhere in the evening, in the afternoon, at night when the sun goes down, I will put this lipstick on if I'm like sitting out. I used to sit out in the back in the patio, but I don't do it anymore. If I'm sitting out somewhere, that's what I would do. I would put this on during the holidays because it's glittery in it. And I told you, I don't have very many products with glitter in but look. I have this on over my daily. Where got? You like it? It's really not my shade for every day, especially walking around with glitter on, but you might not be able to see it, but my lips are glittered. They are really shining. I can't wear this every day, everywhere I go. It's it's like a, a shade softer than what I generally wear, and it's like a burgundy, but it really has some sparkle in it, and that's why it's my holiday Milani lip gloss. Check this out. I'm sure you will love it because I want you to know I'm a lip gloss, lipstick, lip person. I love my colored lips. I love them. I keep something on my lips 24 times. It's very seldom you're going to see my lips natural. You will see everything else natural, but you won't see my lips hardly ever natural. And I'm like that because to me, I don't know. They just... It just, to me, they, they said the eyebrows are the f windows to the face. The eyes are the windows to the soul. The eyebrows are the windows, uh, yeah, the windows to the face. And I think the win the lips are the doors to the face. The doors. Yeah, I think that's what they are. So they have to be very decorative. At all times. This here is Mrs. Milani, honey. I love this lip gloss and I highly recommend it to you. And I have a couple of things that I picked up also because of the corona, the coronavirus and the quarantine and the stay at home um, order that was mandated by the government. I bought some things because I also sometimes like to jot down merch things, right? I like to write. I like to write. I like to write my feelings. I like to document things. I used to keep this here journal. As a matter of fact, I've traveled so much in my lifetime. I had a light, a journal of my entire life, but now it's up there. And I had I had everything documented and throughout the excessive moving around and everything. I don't I don't know where I can't locate it. So I picked up myself a journal here to do some more to try to introduce myself into becoming more efficient in writing again because I must admit I haven't had a lot of time for it lately but it has a scripture on the front of it and it says with God all things are possible and that's Matthew 19 26 do you believe that I know I do with God all things are possible Matthew 19.26 Yes, I a firm believer, believer in Jesus Christ as well. And 
I trust him in every aspect of everything at all times. And I want you to know that I'm trusting him to ensure that we all remain healthy and safe and well and protected. And they expedite the process of obtaining a vaccine or an antidote for this particular coronavirus so that we can at least spend more time with the people that we feel are a part of our lives and that we have a love for in our lives. And I want you to know that this right here, just remember this is a scripture and just remember it. With God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. And I picked this up as a journal just to write in because I haven't been doing very much of that. And this here is hopefully will motivate me to do so. And also I picked up a pen to go along with it. It looks kind of childish, but it's just something to keep near my bed at night for me to jot important details down. I know everyone mostly keep everything in their phone now, but I'm a little bit more private than that. And so I purchased the pen to match it. That's all. I have plenty of pens and this looks childish, but I have it to just match this to make motivate me. Motivate me. So I have this because of the COVID-19 virus and of course you're ordered to remain indoors and you have more time to do the things that you would probably enjoy doing and every now and then I get the mood and I enjoy writing. Just thought I would share that with you. And not last but not least, this is my last item, but I want you to understand that of course none of this have a relate none of this is in re reference to fragrances. I understand that. But like I said, I was conducting a switch on the merchandise, but I did kick in a little fragrance for you. And, but it isn't a body fragrance. It's a body lotion, fragrance body lotion. And it's by Roberto Cavalli. I think you remember me conducting a video before saying that I had discovered this product from Roberto Cavalli, and I did. I was discovered a product from Roberto Cavalli, and it was a fragrance. And I never had one before. I said I hadn't. Oh, it was a miniature. I remember that. And then I discovered this lotion. Because he has, the majority of his fragrances and products, I'm going to have to do take it off like this. I can't. Let's see. I'm going to let you know what this smells like. Oh, my God. You know what this happens to be? This is my first time to open it. Oh, I thought it was a body lotion. It isn't a body lotion. As you can see, it's a body gel. And it's by Verona Cavalli. You know what? It's very potent, very strong, and very powerful. Mm. And it smells lovely. Whoa, honey, Mr. Roberto Cavalli, come back. I'm liking this. But this right here is a body gel. I've already showered, but it looks like I can do it again. This here is something that's very strong and very powerful and very potent. It has a great deal of earthy notes applied to it, but from a sweet perspective, it appears to have like maybe some jasmine. And it smells like a little peachy. And maybe some plums. But it's very fresh and very clean smelling. Oh my God, and kind of soapy. Very refreshing. And of course, it definitely has some florals in there. It's a nice fragrance. I like it. I'm going to put this in the shower and have it ready accessible for me when next time I decide to shower because I would like to smell like this when I get out of the shower because it's very motivating. And not only that, apparently it used to be, it was also probably associated with a fragrance. Um, it says Florence. So I assume the fragrance name is Florence. So if you happen to detect Florence by Roberto Cavalli, being sold anywhere, come in and recommend it, I mean, inform me of it so that I can attain it because if you would be in agreement with me if you are aware of it because of the fact that this is lovely and it smells lovely and look how it has moisturized my skin. I think it's very beneficial for the skin as well and nice product. It's a nice, a very nice product, Mr. Roberto Cavalli and you see right here, Roberto Cavalli and you will love this one. And this is the most fragrant merchandise that I have to present to you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please check out these hydrating 
products because they're very beneficial for you. Some of them are pretty fragrant. And also, Mr. Veronica Valley Shower Gel and the fragrance that goes along with it. Uh, but of course, I do not have the fragrance, but you will definitely appreciate the shower gel because it has a beautiful fragrance and I highly recommend it to you. And you take care of yourself and goodbye.